Right, so if we just take a look at the uh, riff for Apple Shampoo, which again just sounds like this. You know, kind of funky, but uh, actually dead simple. If you just take a look at my finger position there, so if I come really close, I've just got my index finger on fret 1 string 6, and I've got my um, ring finger on fret 3 string number 4. But um, if I was to just put my little finger on that string instead, and then just put my uh, ring finger on the string above, you'll see straight away that's a power chord. Yep, so that's like your basic kind of power chord shape. So again, if you just look at the tab, um, you know, I can actually play that riff and stay in that shape, okay? So if I just play the riff again, I'm just going to stay in this power chord shape, and even though my ring finger is now on string um, 5, it doesn't actually matter because, you know, I'm not actually going to play it. All I'm going to be doing is just demonstrate that this riff is basically written um, around a power chord shape, okay? So here's the riff again. <laughs> Okay, so you, know, you can see that it's basically just a power chord shape, and all Tom's doing really is, um, you know, instead of holding down three strings, just holding down two strings like that, and then all he's going to be doing is just picking that string and that string. Okay, so the two power chords he's using is, like I said, that's a first shape. Then all he's going to do is slide up two frets to frets three and five, and that's a second power chord shape. So if you just have a look at the tab now, all I've done, I've basically just got those power chord shapes and then just taken off my um, ring finger so that I'm just holding down two strings. So we've got shape one, slide it up two frets and then back down. So. Okay, and that is basically how that little riff is constructed, okay? It's nothing... Uh, complex, it's nothing sort of fancy, you know, basic, just basic power chords, and it's just picking some different notes out of those chords, okay?